Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Listen, I, I know it's been a while, but hear me out. Things have been a little busy lately. I swear I've been planning to make more content, but with a job and being new to the adult life, um, I have a lot of my plate to take care of, unfortunately. Um, that being said, I will make an attempt to have some sort of regular schedule, even if it's only one video a week or something of that nature. With all that nonsense out of the way, let's get to what you're really here for. My previous Mania Improvement video gained a decent amount of traction, so I figured I would just do another one. Um, I just recently came back to Mania around the start of May. Within a week or two, I made a lot of progress, which was very impressive to me. Um, like I stated in my previous Improvement video, straining myself and putting myself through certain routines to actually get better was something I never really bothered with since I didn't believe persevering enough was enough to actually improve. That is where I was really incorrect um this video will explain how the phrase play more isn't necessarily wrong but it is an understatement to how much you have to do to earn your new level of skill if you don't put the right type of practice in then you won't improve much or not at a decent rate really one last thing before we get started with the video i have some big plans moving forward especially in terms of interacting with the community coming up i have a major event planned that i want to make my highest quality project yet um, if we can get enough support on this video, I'll try to drop it as soon as possible. So if you could, please leave a like on this video. It would help out a lot. In the meantime, this community activity I thought of as an event where I challenged my viewers to 1v1s and Osu Mania. And if you beat me, then I will use whatever skin you choose for me. If you do want to show up to this event, um, try to tune into my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash 6cozy9 at 4pm EST April 7th. Hey guys, Editing Kaden here. Um, I forgot to mention that I literally get off work at 4 o'clock on the 7th, so we're actually putting it up to a poll in the Discord server on uh, what time we should do it that day or if we should reschedule for a different day. So try to join the Discord server in the description and we'll go from there and you can all vote on the time as well. Anyways, let's resume the video. This is subject to change and you will be able to figure out what happens or if there is a reschedule um, by joining my Discord server down in the description below. I'm trying to revive that server, make it very interactive. So if you have any questions, you can ask me directly. But I want this event to be pretty vast in terms of variety. So the more real-time viewers that show up, the better the content will be. Allow me to mention one more thing before proceeding with the video. Only a small fraction of my viewers have subscribed, blah, blah, blah. And you've heard it before. But it truly does help you subscribe because I do love interacting with my community and making content that um, is very interactive. It also brings a lot more viewers in. So please try to subscribe and you'll get notified whenever I post a video. And then who knows, maybe I'll leak an upcoming event like I did with this one. And then you can participate in that as well. And yes, before we do move on, there is the long awaited sequel to the stream overlay tutorial in the works i just haven't gotten around to releasing it we did hit the like goal actually more than that we got 200 so huge thanks to you guys i'm gonna try and drop it as soon as possible but let's get on with the video now this is a very important step before you can go off and have fun making an attempt to improve you need to make sure you set the foundation of how you will play the game Changing your settings at any point after playing the game for long enough will actually cause your skill to come down um, in terms of how well you play. Uh, you get so accustomed to your skin and scroll speed as well as bindings throughout playing the game that if you change them, you might drastically fall in skill level. This isn't the same for everyone, but I know at least when I've done it, it really bothers me and kind of does a skill setback. There have been times that I had to change my skin and scroll speed like recently so that I could read easier. I decided that circles not fitting my receptors and then being quite small made reading a little more difficult than I had anticipated. So I decided to get a skin with circles that took up almost the entirety of each lane and they were decently big too, which I'll show on screen now, um, and the receptors fit perfectly. Uh, the larger your circles or arrows are, the faster they will fall naturally, even if you have the same scroll speed you had set before. You most likely want to lower your scroll speed if you switch to bigger arrows or circles, and then do vice versa if you do it the other way around. Now, you can identify if your scroll speed is off by how soon or how late you hit your notes. If you are hitting your notes too early, you're most likely to have too slow of a scroll speed, with the latter being true as well. Try to have a skin picked out before adjusting your scroll speed at all. 
um, because your skin, like I just mentioned in the previous segment, depicts how your scroll speed will be affected. Bindings aren't nearly as big of an issue. The main thing being that if playing any odd number of key mode, you might want to have space as the middle key. That way you have an even amount of fingers being used on each hand. But besides that, just try to stick with some bindings from the very start. You can have them wide apart on your keyboard, pretty close together. It doesn't really matter. It's just personal preference, but later down the line, changing it might cause you to drop in skill like I mentioned earlier. What really sets the foundation of improving is realizing where you are failing at. This isn't something to be ashamed of, it's just something you need to work on. For example, I wasn't doing too great at chord jack and my reading skills were not on par with what my hands could do. I decided to start forcing myself through multiple chord jack maps at a time, making it to where there was some sessions where all I did was mash my keyboard training my fingers to get used to hitting this type of pattern that I couldn't hit before. After long enough, my skill in regard to these types of maps improved drastically. It's still hard for me to pass these maps all the way through, but now even some easier chord jack maps I couldn't pass before have become manageable. Um, with patterns, you can easily distinguish how to get better at them. Just play that type of map. However, it's not so easy when an entire skill ends up being less honed than you would like it to be. In terms of my reading, I couldn't quite see what was happening in some more difficult maps I was playing at the time. In the end, I started playing maps I felt like I should be able to properly execute the patterns on, but I couldn't quite properly read just yet. After straining my eyes enough to the point where I could read these patterns more easily, I was able to play entire difficulty rating higher than my previous record. Um, this could also be due to not having a skin that is personally tuned to my liking like I mentioned before, or having a scroll speed that is slightly too fast or too slow. But I made sure to fix these things first so that I didn't have to worry about wasting a bunch of time getting some settings that I couldn't vibe with and then having to change them down the line. So it is the first thing I decided to adjust. When it comes to recognizing your flaws, you can't just tell yourself what is wrong. You have to tell yourself why it isn't working either. My reading skill wasn't as good as some of my other abilities at the time because I was so busy trying to farm and act the same map zone over that I was stuck looking at the same density of patterns each time. My chord jack wasn't quite the greatest because I was so used to my fingers constantly moving in a flowing like state due to stream maps. So that point being, if you don't understand why the problem you are having is present, you can't fix the root of the problem. Keep in mind that once all your flaws have been honed to widen your skill set, other things you may have been decent at start to fall behind. For instance, now my normal jacks aren't as quick as they need to be for the new difficulty I've been introduced to due to my new reading prowess. You have to realize you will never be perfect and that's okay. Even the best players have flaws that they need to work on. If you want to improve in rank, you need to recognize how you can outperform the rest in terms of the speed at progression. That leads me into my next topic though. As I'm writing this script, this is exactly what I'm experiencing. I'm getting extremely furious with my skill because I feel as though I'm not getting good at enough fast enough. This is the point where you may need to take a short break, um, maybe a few days of sitting back and relaxing and maybe even watching some of my videos to cool off. Once you feel as though you can come back with a clear mindset, you'll still be motivated enough to try and get better but you'll also realize already how much you've accomplished. Now, don't get me wrong, Osu is a game and games are about having fun at the end of the day. Um, most of your non-rhythm game friends are probably gonna drop their jaw at how good you are anyways if you play anything beyond the three star level. So you don't really need to strain yourself to impress everyone. You can always play the game to gain rank or just play songs that you genuinely like listening to. Maybe certain maps feel exceptionally fun to play, but happen to be loved. Ghost is a great loved mania map, and I'm not just going to skip it because it doesn't reward me some numbers on a screen. Um, try to give yourself the benefit of the doubt and play stuff that goes hard or try playing some maps with patterns you genuinely love hitting instead of constantly training yourself to get better all the time. Once you get in the rhythm of having fun and improving when you feel like you really need to, uh, you should be able to avoid most of the feeling of burnout. Um, once you get into the rhythm, no pun intended, of getting better and clearing your mind, you'll truly be able to improve at a pretty fast rate. You aren't going to see instant results, that's for sure. You have to constantly strain yourself, continue playing these ridiculous hard maps that seem really impossible. When you really put yourself through the ringer, 
you are improving even if it doesn't look like it. Once you've done the same thing long enough, it becomes second nature. When I was forcing myself to read harder patterns that were super dense, I thought there was no way anyone could have gone through the struggle I had to. After long enough, I ended up reading this stuff fine and forgetting I even had to struggle to accomplish this in the first place. The breaks from the previous segment of the video that I mentioned really contribute to this. The breaks are a part of the process. If you don't give yourself breathing room, drink some water, relax for a change, you won't improve. You might even slow yourself down. While practicing, I experienced some major physical pain in my wrist and going to work the next few days was just absolutely miserable. Don't let the grind ruin things outside of the game for you. A long time ago, I had some serious raging issues where I would get mad at someone for just talking while I was playing the game. I ended up quitting standard because of that and I would hate for that to happen to something that I enjoy so much again. If you don't do this process in moderation, you might ruin the entire experience for yourself and not just improving, but the whole game. This next segment is going to talk about routines. This is the perfect time for me to mention that I do not in any way think I'm factually correct at any point in this video. This is just my perspective on how to improve and I think some people might be able to relate to it. If there's something you feel as though I may be wrong about, Please drop it in the comments to your fellow players. The last thing we really want is misinformation being spread in the community. And if you do share any information, we really appreciate it. In order to improve, you want to expose yourself to your weakest skills. For example, I mentioned near the start of the video that I was struggling with chord jack and reading. Once I realized those issues and what was causing them, from there it was a matter of focusing on those causes and trying to get the better of them. With chord jack, I decided to tap to the rhythm of the song rather than flowing with the stream of the notes since there was a lack of them. In terms of reading, I realized I was moving my fingers too fast or too slow when I was playing things outside of my difficulty range. So I try to look at the notes and pay close attention to them, uh, making sure I was using my eyes and ears to hit the notes instead of just my fingers. The most important part of routine is setting aside the time to work on your specific issues. If you try to do it for an hour or two just one day, your improvement won't stay even if it feels like it's working in the moment. Like I said earlier, you must expose yourself to the same practice over and over for it to truly stick. Also keep in mind that you don't want to work on too many things at once. Um, I say one or two is ideal, but you could push three things if you think you can really handle it. Keep in mind that breaks are really important, but they shouldn't be too large either. You have to find the sweet spot of refreshing yourself, but not losing the muscle memory you gained from training. Of course, this can only set you so far back. You won't lose all of your skill, but you will certainly not retain all of it. Um, try to play semi-consistently, even if just for fun. That way you can maintain your current skill level and can improve whenever you are in the mood to do so. Well, there are several categories of patterns. That's not to say patterns are everything, but that is what I will be covering first. This chart is a great example of what each pattern looks like, which I will also include in the description. However, I will sort each pattern into my own type of category as well. These categories are stream, jacks, tech, and LN. Each of these categories can be subdivided into other categories like quad stream, hand stream, jump stream, and single stream. The subdivisions for each other category will be listed on screen now. In addition to these categories, there's SV, but that is a skill that isn't necessarily required to become a better player. However, it is worth mentioning since it's still a skill you can hone regardless. In addition to each of these patterns, reading is a big deal too. You don't just read with your eyes, but also with your ears. You don't realize just how much easier this game is when you pay attention to the music until you either become musically inclined or end up mapping some songs yourself. Understanding what patterns come from and what sounds in the song immensely assist your eyes in understanding what patterns are on screen easier. Training your auditory reading isn't really easy, but most certainly possible just by watching certain maps or watching people play them and understanding why that sound was a chord or why that set of sounds was a 1 8 snap stream. With your eyes, you really just have to know at what point your hands are performing beyond your eyes expectation like I did. When you do realize you are physically agile enough to hit some pretty dense patterns, 
Then you want to expose yourself to overall higher difficulties so you can read denser patterns. The major thing about reading is it's kind of like the final boss before going on to the next level. Once you know you can handle all the patterns you previously practiced, your hands are finally ready to hit those patterns but your eyes aren't ready to perceive them. Once you finally strain yourself enough, when it comes to reading patterns, you'll see a major jump in difficulty in which you can excel at. Sure, one guy can just throw all this together and have nothing to show for it, but I believe I've truly gone to the next level with this level of discipline and proactive attempts at getting better. Many of the scores you are seeing on screen now have been set in the past month or so, as where my top play previous to this training arc was TS Love with a decent accuracy, but this was also my only 4 star pass at the time. Since this long practice routine I put myself through, I have earned my first 4 star FC and first 200 PP play uh, in any game mode, which has been a dream of mine for a long while now. Now that's enough boasting about myself. Long before I went through this grind, my sibling, Zenith, has gone through their own training arc in Funky Friday. This monster was significantly worse than me when they started the game, but after a short hiatus of mine, they overtook me easily. I still say to this day they are better, but they motivate me to move forward because of that. This absolute demon literally moved over to Quaver from Roblox's shit hit engine and still excels at patterns I thought FNF players would never be able to hit. They still continue to pass my expectations to this day and are a perfect example of what perfect practice can result in. This is going to be their channel on screen now. Please go subscribe so that anything in the future they may post in regards to rhythm games or if you just like their content in general, you can go ahead and watch it right over there and you'll be notified every time they post. There's one last set of proof I don't have, but I'm seeking it. If anyone that watches this video attempts to use my methods at getting better, join the Discord and show us what you are really capable of. Show us your journey to becoming the best player you can be. We're all here to support each other and help each other excel at what we love, and that's what this game is in the end. It's a game at improving and showing your perseverance to get better. Again, more details about the community event will be in the Discord, which you can find in the description. Don't forget to subscribe so you can also be notified about these future events in case I do more of them. While I do really enjoy making Mania content, and that is why I'm focused on at the moment, I will post some other types of content occasionally, like my 2024 setup tour I have in the works. If we can hit 100 likes on this video, I will try to release the big upcoming Mania event before the end of the month. Uh, if you have any questions or just have any messages you want to leave me, please leave a comment on this video or reach out to me in my Discord server. My DMs are pretty much always open and I only won't reply if I'm at work or super busy. Thanks so much for watching and I will see all of you in the next upcoming videos. Let me ace, let me ace. Let me ace, please, please, please. Yeah! God, team, you guys are the best.